Okay, let me introduce you to my friends. You've been listening to the great Kurt Reeder on organ, jazz organ. B3, it was heavy, but it's not as heavy as an actual B3. Uh, <laughs> so Kurt Reeder, uh, covering the job of two men, playing both bass, solos, and cording, comping. And uh, let's hear it again for Kurt. Back here on guitar, the great Kenji Aihara. And Ben Nichols on tenor sax. Yeah. You're listening to the Jay Lawrence Quartet. In spite of how it was billed, I think it was billed as the quintet. That's because Kurt's doing two, two man job. Yeah, <laughs> two man job. So you've been listening to uh, the excellent concert series coming to you from the Gallivan Center, downtown Salt Lake City. And uh, we would like to recognize our sponsors uh, quickly. Talitha Day and the Gallivan, Gallivan Center, you can hold your applause till the end. Salt Lake City Redevelopment Agency, City Center Marriott, Salt Lake City, City Mayor Aaron Mendenhall, Salt Lake City Council, Monarca Restaurant, thank you. I think that's a new sponsor. Uh, Zoo Arts and Parks, that's you people. Thank you for chipping into the arts. Uh, Taylor Audio and Visual, uh, Visual, Taylor Audio Visual, and that includes uh, you know Jesse and Mario and the and the cats. Uh, Utah Division of Arts and Museums, Larry Miller Family Charities, George S and Dolores uh, Dory Eccles Foundation, Dane's Music, but we're not using the piano tonight. Uh, H. Harold Burton Foundation, oh, R. Harold Burton Foundation, Consulate of Mexico in Salt Lake City, and the Jazz Mentors Foundation. Uh, we're grateful for that collab collaboration. 
Excellence and Jeff Whitley and the crew, including Jeff uh, Whiteley, sorry, and Arun, and of course Jesse and, and Mario, who I mentioned before. And you can, if you would like to support these concerts, uh, you can go to excellenceconcerts.org. And, uh, and there should be a way, maybe a QR code, uh, because it's a nonprofit, and they're trying to support local musicians and keep, keep an art like this going on. What you heard first was a composition of mine called Going Places. That was followed by the classic Back at the Chicken Shack by Jimmy Smith. And uh, uh, this is a typical traditional uh, ensemble in the uh, tradition of jazz. Uh, the organ group, so often it's a trio, in which case it would be usually uh, guitar and drums with the organ. And if there's a, a fourth person added, it's always, always a tenor sax, and we wanted to, we wanted to make sure to include Ben. And uh, there's uh, a great tradition in this uh, instrumental combination. It's, I guess the classic, classical world's equivalent would be the string quartet. All right, we're going to move on. This is a composition written by Ben Nichols, and uh, you're going to enjoy Odd Man Out. Oh. 
Yeah, this is on a hide the on button in the weirdest place on this microphone. So you just heard shout. It's a contrafact. Do we all know what a contrafact is? It's like a, it's a contrafactum. It comes from that Latin term. Uh, it's a new melody written on an existing chord progression. The chord progression for shout was on the A sections, uh, whisper not. <laughs> Benny Golson's Whisper Knot, and on the bridge it was Softly. Uh, and so uh, I combined those two chord progressions and wrote a new melody and called it Shout. Prior to that, we had uh, Soul Marks, my tribute to uh, Wayne Shorter. He wrote a song called Footprints. Uh, once again, <laughs> you know, uh, tip of the hat to Wayne Shorter. We're going to play a, a nice standard at this time, uh, relax the the mood a little bit. This is on the sunny side of the street by Jimmy McHugh. Thank you. 
Okay, sunny side of the street. How about Ben Nichols on tenor? Kenji, Haya, Kenji Aihara on guitar. And uh, of course, Kurt Reeder on the organ. Okay, I'll just announce a couple of tunes here so, I, so you don't have to listen to me talk. I'm no MC, uh, but this is uh, from Z Nader to Zenith, Nader to Zenith, a low point to a high point, uh, kind of something I wrote during my wife's cancer battle, and she's pretty much in remission now, so that's, a, that's the Zenith. And then we'll do, thank you. Yeah, yeah, we're reason to celebrate. And uh, that'll be followed by Thermal Strut, and uh, hopefully it sounds like its title. And then, um, the mighty burner will go to that point.
Hello. I'll say something about this tune. Um, this is called The Mighty Burner. It's by a, a, a great organist, another Philadelphia organist by the name of Charles Erland. And um, while I was working on my doctorate out at University of Illinois, I went to school with a classmate, classmate named Reggie Lewis. 
His grandfather was Bootsy Barnes, who was kind of like the godfather of the jazz scene in Philadelphia for decades. Uh, and he used to gig with Charles Erland and Papa Joe DeFrancesco, uh, Papa John, I mean, and Joey DeFrancesco and Shirley Scott and all these different organists. And um, anyway, so this is just kind of another one of those great organ tunes that I fell in love with. And actually, the person who asked me to play it was a conga player, because on the recording there's a conga player. Um, but uh, just to emphasize what Jay talked about, the idea of the organ quartet was huge. And actually, for Blue Note during the 1960s, among jazz musicians, there was a whole plethora of albums that everybody bought. But outside of the jazz nerds, the most records that were sold during that period were, by and large, the organ records. Because um, they were soul records as well as jazz records, soul and funk and jazz. And, um, and there's, there was a period in the late 1960s where these organ albums, by and large, kind of helped prop up Blue Note for a little bit and helped the rest of the jazz catalog sell. So there was a time where the organ trio was really a big hit for the jazz scene. And anyway, we're going to attempt to convey a little bit of that here with this tune. This is just a great blues, a burner called The Mighty Burner. Thank you. 
Okay. We've got about three more hours worth of material. <laughs> but we're going to have to skip a few things. Uh, all right, so we're going to next play. Should we do Norwegian? So we'll, we'll play a Brazilian tune for you. This is an original. Uh, Muito Obrigado, followed by our closer, which is Smolder. But before we get into that, let me again say we uh, would like to express our gratitude for the people that make this possible. Number one, you for coming out and for supporting this. Thanks. Thanks to our audience. Yeah, appreciate you being here. There may be a live stream, uh, but without people in the room, it, it would feel kind of funny to play. So thanks for being here. I remember those days, the, the pandemic. We were playing for an empty room. So thanks for being here. And also uh, the Salt Lake City Redevelopment Agency, City Center Marriott, um, Salt Lake City Council, Monarca Restaurant, 268 South State. Check it out. Probably have great food that you, that you would love there. Zorts and Parks, Utah Division of Arts and Museums, Larry Miller Family Charities, George S. and Dolores Dory Eccles Foundation, uh, the Her H, oh, sorry, R. Harold Burton Foundation, uh, Consulate of Mexico in Salt Lake City, Jazz Mentors Foundation, and of course, Excellence in the Community, Excellence Concerts and Jeff Whiteley and crew. And uh, that crew includes Arun, Jesse, and, and Mario. Let's give them a hand. <laughs> We're going to finish with a couple of tunes I've written. Muito Obrigado, a Brazilian thing, followed by Smolder. And then Ben's got another gig tonight. He's got to run to. Thank you. 